Ms. Smith, you are here today desperate to save your three-year relationship with the defendant and hope to prove he is the biological father of your one-year-old daughter, Elena. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Busing, you say Ms. Smith turned your world upside down when she had an internet fling and ended up pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you argue if today's DNA results prove another man is her baby's father, you're ending your relationship for good. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Busing, just take me to the day you found out she was pregnant. Your Honor, I was, I was sitting in my home. Um, one of Ms. Smith's friends was over. And Ms. Smith, Ms. Smith and her friend went outside, and as she went outside, she had, th she had th shut the door behind her, and I had overheard the word pregnant. And what happens? Well, what happens, I get off the couch, and I go, Ms. Smith, you're, you're pregnant? I said, you, we are pregnant right now? And she said, no, she had denied it. And so do you remember this day, Ms. Smith? Yes, I do, Why was it such a big secret? Um, at the time of conception, we were both seeing other people. So when did you finally open up and just say to Mr. Busing, I'm pregnant and you may be the father? That same day, Your Honor, I womaned up and I told him, Your Honor, at the very point of when I said, yes, I am pregnant and it might not be your baby. And now, Mr. Busing, Yes, hearing that had to be a major blow. Yeah, yeah, hearing that now is a, is a major blow because back when I finally got her to confess, confess that she was pregnant, she was like, of course it's yours. I haven't been with nobody else. I, I've been oh, here. Oh, so she didn't tell and, you. And you are so lying. On, on top of that, from about that, the next 48 hours you of that totally moment, she stayed about that, at I told my... you from the get-go that it might not be your baby. You didn't I told tell me you that. right there. You didn't tell me that. You said we was going to have a great life yeah. and have a big family. And the two... That's what the, you told me before four, you cheated on me. The five of us was going to be a big family. Before you started cheating and started all the cheating in See, the relationship. See, that's where you're wrong at, because I, I didn't start cheating. So, Mr. Busink, now, take me to the day Elena was born. You're at the hospital? I'm at the hospital. The moment the... Uh, this beautiful little girl was coming. She wasn't even all the way into the world yet. Her eyes were open. She looked up at me, and I was like, hi, and she screamed for the first time. <laughs> it was the sweetest noise I've oh, ever heard in my life. awesome. This was the most amazing, beautiful thing that I've ever went through with anybody. So I can imagine the connection was totally. established. The, if she wasn't with mom, she was right here mm -hmm. whenever she slept. And so, at what point did you begin to doubt that she was yours? Ms. Smith had told me that she was not my child. I told you from the very beginning, there's a possibility that this might not be your baby. Um, I also have a calendar of Jerome, please I'd hand like that to, to submit me. as evidence. Thank you. So, you've provided the court with a calendar which outlines Mm -hmm. The window of conception. Really? In blue is potential father number two, and in red is Mr. Busing. Outlined in green is the window of, of conception. So on the days of September 11th through 13th, you slept with both men without protection. Yes, Your Honor. So nine months later, baby Elena was born. Yes, Your Honor which left you with a real doubt as to who her biological father is. So, Mr. Busing... Yes, sure. Was this ever made so clear to you as it is on this calendar? Your this Honor, is Your Honor, the 11th and the 13th. My stomach's turning right now as we speak. I... I have told haven't. you from the very beginning, from the no, get-go, and no, you, you act haven't. like you don't even know no, right you, now. Not like this, you haven't. Not, I have no. told you from the very get-go. No. I, I womaned up and I told you from the very start that this baby not, might not be yours because I didn't want to lie. I know what it's like, Your Honor, to grow up without knowing who your real father is. Do you know where to find this other man if, in fact, Mr. Busing is not her biological father? Your Honor, after um, a while, him and I stopped talking because I wanted to work things out with Mr. Busing. I want to be a family with him. I haven't talked to him since because he kind of just disappears off the face of the planet. So you lost contact with him. Right. So when you look at Elena, does she look like the other man at all? Or does 
She looked like Mr. Busing in your opinion. Your Honor, I feel like she looks like Mr. Busing. I also have some more evidence to submit um, as to why I have doubt also. She does have those blue eyes. Jerome, will you hand that to me, please? Thank you. Welcome. So, what you're saying is, Elena has blue eyes. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Busing has brown eyes. You have brown eyes. And the other guy has what color eyes? Blue eyes, Your Honor. When you see that picture, Mr. Busing, what are you thinking? We don't, in my family, we don't have blue eyes. And it does raise some doubt. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you want to make this relationship with Ms. Smith work, Mr. Busing? I do not know. You don't know? Your Honor, I do not know. How about you, Ms. Smith? Do you want to make the relationship work? Your Honor, I, I really don't know because I am constantly all the time being disrespected, ran over, he never has my back with anything. I feel like he uses me just for his own benefit to get what he wants. And he says that I'm like that. But when it comes down to it, he won't even turn around and take a look in the mirror at himself. Your Honor, and you know, Mr. Busing, it's obvious that you're hurting too. Uh, I've been hurting. I got, I got my heart, my heart's pulling towards this, this beautiful child. Whoever, whomever's child she is, she's a gorgeous child, sweet, intelligent child. And I have a woman that has been steadily tearing down the home brick by brick. I see uh, Elena and I see like, what's been going on and every time it's convenient, this child belongs to somebody else. I think it's time to get the results. Yeah. So we can finally know the truth. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Smith versus Busing, when it comes to one-year-old Elena, Mr. Busing, you are the father. I see that relief. Thank you. Nobody, nobody can tell me nothing now. That's my baby. Yep. It's my baby. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. This is the case of Joseph versus Kilgore. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Joseph, you say today is your one and only chance to identify your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. You claim you may have finally found him after believing he was dead for 30 years. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Kilgore is the potential father in question, and he is waiting outside of our courtroom right now. You two will meet for the first time today. Wow. And Ms. Joseph, explain why are these results today so important to you? For 30 years, Your Honor, I knew my dad was dead. So when my mother, on her deathbed before she died, she um, told me, she gave me a name, Billy Raph Kilgore, Mr. Kilgore. And um, from that, I ran on that name. And you find him, how? Well, my brother went down south and uh, he um, met up with Miss, Miss um, Sanders. She mentioned that her uncle was named Kilgore. So, so they looked him up and a picture came about and he, he knew right then that he felt that that was my father. Really? Wow. And I'm praying that he is my father. Jerome, I think it's time we meet him. Please escort Mr. Kilgore in. Hello, sir. Come with me. Can I give him a hug? Yes, you may. Is that okay, Mr. Kilgore? Yeah. Aww. Thank you. Most certainly. Mr. Kilgore, thank you for being here today. Yes, ma'am. Pleasure to be here.
So, you know, we're talking to Miss Joseph, and she says that you're her biological father. Yes, ma'am. Do you remember knowing her mother and having a relationship with her? Yes, ma'am. Um, I met her mother. Uh, her and I had an affair. Okay. We just kind of we and all, because, you know, I had a girlfriend, and she had a boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. So, you all just kind of let it fizzle out. Yes, ma'am. Do you ever remember hearing that Miss Joseph's mom was pregnant? No, ma'am. Never? Never. She said, well, you know, my mother told me that you were my father. I said, well, yeah, send me a picture, which is, which is this photo right here. Let me see that, please, Jerome. She was 36 years old when I first found it out. Wow. So for 36 years, you never heard a thing about this girl? Never heard a thing. So she sends you a picture. Right. This picture here. Mm -hmm. And this is the first picture you got where you laid eyes on her. Right. What did you think? Well, she got some futures of me and one of my nieces. So when you stared at this picture, you said, I do see similarities between right. this young girl, right. myself, and my family. Right. Miss Joseph, so when you made contact with Mr. Kilgore and he said, send me the picture, I mean, what were you feeling? Like, hopeful? Were you just nervous or...? I was, I was nervous. I was happy because he sounded like he, um, was... He felt like I was his, his daughter. So when so we... So you uh, felt like he was receptive? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. And it was, it was just amazing. And so you really felt full? You, yes. You, you felt like there was a I full... I felt full, but I wasn't sure. Still doubtful. Still doubtful because I don't want to put my heart in something and it's not there. I hope this time, you know, I am the lucky one because, uh, you know, I want her to have a father. Mm -hmm. I want her to know her father. So, Miss Joseph. Yes, Your Honor. You brought a witness today. I'd like to hear from them. Please stand, sir. State your name for the court. My name's Sylvester Johnson. Mr. Johnson, you are Ms. Joseph's brother. brother? Yes, ma'am. All right. Take me to the day you first found Mr. Kilgore. Well, I was um, on my way to Florida, um, where we live, our home state, and my sister introduced me to a young lady, and we began to be friends and share a lot of family information because we both come from the same town. Mm -hmm. And she told me the name, well, Kilgore came up that her mother was in that family, and I remembered that's the name my mother gave us for April's father. Okay, this is amazing. You're talking to a person you just meet randomly. Yes, ma'am. Once she showed me the picture, I kind of was definitely, she has features of Mr. Kilgore. Wow. Um, called her and let her know that I, I believe I found your father. Wow. So when you got that call from your brother, what were you thinking? I was excited, and I, I just felt it right off the bat that, yeah, he was my father. The stakes are high. It is. If, in fact, Mr. Kilgore is not your biological father, since your mother has passed on, you won't be able to get any other name. This is it. This is all I got. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. I really feel in my heart that he's my father, so this is it. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna still look at him as my father. If, if he's not, not, if he's not, I'm gonna still call him, and I'm still he's still my father. Okay. I think it's time for the results, Jerome. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Joseph V. Kilgore, as it pertains to the paternity of April Joseph, Mr. Billy Kilgore, you 
are not her father. Oh, God. <laughs> Steal my daughter. You gotta say, you steal my daughter. Thank you. Steal you. Okay, thank okay. you. I'm so sorry, Miss Joseph. I really am. Maybe she truly believed Mr. Kilgore was your father. So now you have this closure, and now you can move forward, all right? Mr. Kilgore, I thank you for not only being open and receptive to this beautiful young woman, but for coming here today to try to answer her questions and your own. Mm -hmm. And I hope you have a special place in your heart for her as well. Yes, ma'am, I do. Mr. Jameson, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test because you are certain you are not the father of the defendant's two sons, Malachi and Michael. You say you made a mistake signing one of the birth certificates and need today's paternity results to get your name off of it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Smith, you are positive the plaintiff is the biological father of your two sons and hope today's results will save your family. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So, Mr. Jamison, let me start with you. You claim you are now positive you are not the father. Yes, Your Honor, I'm not the father. Explain. All right, so let's take you to the beginning. Um, I moved in with her probably like, probably like two weeks after knowing her. And then uh, she kicked me out. She kicked me out. You know, she said she wanted to uh, mess with her, with her ex. She ain't know where she wanted to go right now. So, oh, so you moved, you met, and you all were just having a relationship. Right. And then how, how long after that did she kick you out? I say probably like a month she kicked me out. And did you want to go back with your ex, Miss Smith? I did, but then I ended up back with him. I told him I didn't want to go to my exes, I was done with it, and I was Because she knew what right was like for her, Your Honor. So you asked him to come back on home? Yeah. It you was came... just after Your Honor. Is she... Hold on. I'm getting to that part. Who were you with before you asked him to come back? Two dudes, Your Honor. She was with two dudes, you know. How did you just... find... How did you find that out? Because I went through her phone, and I see she texting her ex, and she's talking about, oh, I don't love him. He's just someone that's around. And so you confront her? I confronted her about it. What happened? She, she kept denying it, because she didn't know she, she didn't know I went through the phone. Because during, during that text message, she, she had sex with the dude, too, on his birthday. You on, saw that in the text yeah, message? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she had sex with him on his birthday. And this is the same ex? This is the same ex, yeah. So, Ms. Smith, you got caught now, and what happened? We argued about it, then he would go, he would leave, and then eventually he'll come right back. Mr. Jameson? Yes, ma'am. You said there were two men she cheated with? Yes, there was a guy in the neighborhood. Um, she, cause I asked, I was, I was always asking her around the dudes that she bring me around, did she do, do anything with him? Not, you know, not to, you I know, declassify her. You already knew Not the to dude. declassify her, but you but know, you already just, knew the guy. He told me yes. When she kicked me out, she had sex with him too. And there's, there's another guy. There's, there's another guy. A third guy? Yeah, there's a third guy. Who told you this? I found it in the phone. I found it in the phone. The, the Ooh, phone. The you phone can't tells stay it. out that phone. Nah, can I couldn't. You? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. And I, you know, the saddest thing was, I really wasn't trying to say things because I'm going snooping for things. So I can't really be too mad, you know. But I'm mad. Right. Well, I mean, be careful what you go looking for because you just might find it. Exactly. You right? Exactly. Exactly. You shouldn't have been doing it Whatever. though. So you found it. Right. And you don't seem Is to be denying this. So now that makes me more concerned that what he's saying is true. Both of my kids are his. She lied about everything. I don't know. I don't know how many guys it could be. Oh. The kids are, it don't even, it's about the kids. They, they yours. It's, it's like you're disgusted. What, what is going on in your mind? Because, because, because you're admitting to these things, so. It's true. She don't understand why, why the, the, the <laughs> It is. She don't understand why the doubt come from. And the reason why it's but okay, they're yours, the reason Benjamin, why it's okay, because I allowed yours. it. I allowed it, because I kept coming back. So she thinks it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's not okay. And because I just opened up, you know, I'm letting my emotions out. I never been with someone this long and my, you know, gave someone my trust, my feelings. I, you know, I'm not like that. But, you know, I was weak. I became weak. That's not weak. 
Actually being able to be vulnerable and open up and be in a relationship, that's strong. But Miss Smith, you do have to understand his doubt. I, I do. mean, let's be honest. I that's do. A, this is a lot. And then I, saw, I signed the birth certificate. I signed the birth certificate, even though I had doubts. So you went and signed the birth certificate for which child? For uh, Malachi. And I had doubts then. I was saying, no, I didn't want to sign it. But he was there I was the there. whole pregnancy, the birth, everything. You was there. That's what a man So how did you doubt, though? But... He don't, he don't want to man up to his responsibilities, though. As a father of both of my kids, which I know he is the father, he don't want to man up. It's not about manning up. I've been it there. is about been manning there up. Kids, you know what I'm saying? Fine, that means financially, physically, all but, that, Benjamin. I've been there, too. I bought, bought diapers, bought clothes, toys. How many toys. times? How many it's not times? about how many times. I, I, do, I do it when they need it. So, Miss Smith, what happened to the relationship after Malachi was born? It was just, we break up, get back together. Did break you up, move on and start up, dating off somebody off. else? No, well, off time, no. With Malachi, but with Michael, I did... The younger child, you did. Yes. After he was born? Before. And I've before. I've been on this whole time in my relationship, Your Honor. Oh, my Four God. Four years. I would end up talking to other people, text she messages, she don't social media. To Kitty, I would... Your Honor. She, she don't but I was that. never intimate. And she don't know what that could be. I was never to. intimate physically with anyone. No one. At all. Even, like, them little text messages and all that stuff he was finding, them people I never slept with at so, all. So, Mr. Jameson, you're seeing this and you're saying these are not just flirtatious text messages. Yeah, you know, sending naked pictures, you know, <laughs> trying to pose up, do a little posing. Were you sending naked pictures to men, Mr. No. Ben? I don't even know what he's talking about. I really don't. All right, so who, who were you with before you found out you were pregnant with Michael? Well, I got pregnant around the end of August, early September with Michael. Around October, mid-October, early October, I did start seeing someone else. I didn't get my menstrual cycle. So I went to the doctors and they told me, okay, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm like, okay, so soon I tell the guy I was dating, because I did, I thought it was his. So you told the other guy first. Yes. I'm pregnant, and mm -hmm. this is your baby. Yeah. What happens? The other guy, he was okay with it. He was fine with it. He was like, okay, you know, he was gonna be there, everything else. So, maybe about two days later, I went and had an ultrasound done. They tell me I'm three months pregnant. Oh. So, I'm like, I didn't even know this guy. But by who, though? Three months ago. So... By you. That's who. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. What you're testifying is that when you got the ultrasound, it came back that you were three months pregnant. Yeah, the baby. So Michael when you had... counted back, you felt like it wasn't this other guy's baby now. Exactly. It was Mr. Jameson. Yes. Your Honor, how are you gonna be pregnant for 11 months? 11 months. <laughs> That's a good question, Mr. Jameson. You submitted a calendar to the court... Yes, I did, Your Honor. ...that outlines why you believe you are not Michael's biological that's father. That's a fact. Right here, July 20th. That's the last... Around that last week, that's the last time we had sex. The baby's due date was June 8th. June 8th. The baby came two months earlier. I also... The, the... Two months or two weeks? Two months. The baby was born April 16th. He was premature. That's what it was. He was premature. He was supposed to be due June 8th. The full term date for them to be born was in June. Right. And that would have been 11 months after the last time you had sex that with her. That wasn't the right. last time. It that was, was not... No, it was not. I'm telling you. So, Miss Smith, I, you know, how do you explain this timeline that an 11 That's month totally pregnancy? Wrong. That's totally wrong. Okay, well, around late August, early September, I even remember because one of his family members had a party. They had a party. And me and him both attended. That was around, I'd say, early September when all that happened. He you didn't got have to, sex. Yes, he got to an altercation with someone, and we was to put, we was trying to have intercourse that around that time, and he couldn't do it. Trying to have it is not the same thing. But it thing. did happen. We had to switch positions trying because your this... hand was messed up. What are you no, talking about? No, I... Yes, it was. But is this happening, Miss Smith, during the July twentieth date he's talking about? No, that's around. September. It's like September 9th. I even had the picture. You submitted as evidence a photo to the court and you say this photo is why you know the dates are right in your estimation because this is the night you conceived and you know that was in September. Yes. I'm not even in the picture, Your Honor. <laughs> 
you don't remember that night, Benjamin. Listen, I, didn't don't. Have, I don't remember having sex with Come you. Come on now. So, listen, the picture had a date stamp on it. And it's September 9th, 2017. Do you remember that day? I remember that day, Your Honor, but we wasn't intimate. So, did you sign Michael's birth certificate? No, I did not. Oh. I'm not the dad. So, what's your relationship with Michael and Malachi? Do you have a relationship with them? They're two and three months. I mean, do you? Well, yeah, I, I, I take care of them kids. I be there for them kids. I play with them, change their diapers, you know, feed them. Whatever needs to be done, it just gets done. Do you feel connected to them? Like you're their not, father? Not, 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 with, not with Michael. Not with Michael. What about Malachi? Yeah, I do. But it's just, you know, I still have my doubts. You know, that's why I'm here today. Um, I, even got, I even got these papers right here. You know, if they not mine, I got the, the applications for the change name right here. Because you don't cut. want them she, to she, have your last name. She gave me, she, she gave Michael my name in the hospital. I didn't even give her permission to do that. But, like, deep down, he know they're both his. He knows. Benjamin, you know, know this. Yes, you do. So we you won't be here like, today if I on knew. Now. I'm, I'm to prove to you also. No, I just hope when the results come back, they yours, that you just squash a whole bunch of stuff. Still, like, still. I'm tired of going through stuff with but you. But, but hold you know, on, you no, can't hold squash, on. You can't, I really there's am. nobody squashing But, but Miss Smith, let's be honest. I mean, you, you seem so sick and tired of sick and tired, but the behaviors that led to this, the, the, so much of it is your doing and what you're doing. And, and then you honestly say that before Michael was born, you were with this other guy and... You told this guy you thought it was his, and he has reason to doubt. I understand. We both did dirt. Me and Benjamin, listen, we both the, have the, done the, dirt to each other. The, listen, we I have, dirt. but then we end up I, I right said, back listen, with each other. It's not about and, that. I know so what, like what I'm even... saying to you is you look over and, I mean, you are so emphatic when you say, you know these kids are yours. You know it. You know... But the truth is, he doesn't know it because That's you fine. didn't know. You told the other guy you thought he was his. Right, but then when I found out how far along I pregnant was, I came straight to bed and I told him, I said, this is your baby. Three months before, when, I, honest, had, she's when I found out she's I was sneaky, pregnant three messy. months ago, I didn't know her. I didn't I, know that this, guy. This probably guys I don't even know about. Oh. But the thing is, I still loved her. And it's like, you know, I didn't want to fully leave her, but I, you know. Because you do love her. Right. Like, I want, I want my family to, we always begin to arguments over little Crazy nonsense stuff, and then it just it's leads not, right it's not back crazy to nonsense stuff. about nah, the kids. Too old for the, the nonsense. kids not mine. Don't bad call me energy, about the kids. Bad vibes. We don't don't need call that. me for like I'm just I'm tired of going through that. I All that stuff. But that. your babies are two and three months old. Yes. I mean, you just had Michael. Yeah. I want my family. I want to be with him. I really do. So you do want your family. Yeah, but I'm just tired of the arguing. I know all that is not healthy for the kids. It's not at all. I do honestly believe that you really do want your children to have a family. I do. But I don't know what's going on with you. And, and what I see in this courtroom, which is interesting to me, it's a dynamic between the two of you. It's like, you're so verbal, Mr. Jameson, and she's not that person. But I feel like it becomes convenient for her to then sit back, just hide her emotions and, and, and internalize them. Then I feel like her pain or whatever she's feeling is coming out with her all over with these guys. I don't know. I just want... I... What, do you, what, what do you feel, though? Like, what, what are, what are, why are you doing this? I would love for our family to get worked out, like I said. So it does matter to you? It does. It really does. And if he's willing to work it out, that's all I'm saying. I would want to. I want my kids to have a father. I didn't have a dad like that. I didn't. I would want my kids to have their father. You do? Yeah. And can I ask you this? Have you prepared yourself that if one of the children aren't his, or maybe both, have you prepared yourself of, of where you go from there? I don't, I don't think I'm wrong. I don't. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm really sure. All right. Let's get the results for you guys. The first result is for Malachi. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jameson versus Smith, when it comes to two-year-old Malachi Jameson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jameson, you 
are the father. You are the father. The next result is for Michael. In the case of Jameson versus Smith, when it comes to three-month-old Michael Jameson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jameson, you are the father. Thank you. Thank you. I'm relieved. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. What do you feel, Miss Smith? Because I'm tired of just going through so much with you. I'm serious, yo. We got two kids together. Like, I want like, for real. Just let it out. Just say how you feel. You don't have to hold it in. The truth is there now. All the mistakes. I just wish he would just act right and just try to do, you know, for the sake of them two. That's all I'm saying. For the sake of them two. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. All right. We've gotten ourselves to this point. We've gotten the truth. But I like that moment when you just said, I'm just tired. And just had to have yourself a cry. Because it's okay to let it out. It, it has been obvious through this proceeding that she's done her damage and has contributed to this. But we know you have as well, and it really is about this dynamic, this relationship you all have. I always say you can't seek comfort under the covers because it leads to this. I'm going to be honest. Mr. Jameson has said you've been like one of the first women he's opened up to. And I need you to open up a little bit more to him, too. And I want to see you all try to make it for these children. 